guys what is up guys welcome to my first YouTube video in this video we will be discussing what <coughs> what I think are the best picks for the upcoming UFC event this weekend Dern vs Jan and all the odds and stuff I will be talking about will be from DraftKings Sportsbook so just letting you know that now the first fight we'll talk about is Guido Canetti versus Randy Costa. And this is a tough fight to predict, I think. Guido's pretty old, but pretty powerful. Tires pretty quickly. And uh, Costa, young, didn't look good his last fight, I didn't think. Um, Costa's a minus 285, Guido's a plus 240. I think. That's pretty high for Costa, but I do think he'll win this fight, so that's who I would pick. And then the next fight, Julius Stoliarenko versus Chelsea Chandler. I've heard some gro some great things about Chelsea Chandler, and I've heard some not great things about both of these people. But I did see Stoliarenko's very quick armbar of Jessica Rose Clark in Vegas. I saw that live with my sister, so that was pretty cool. Stoliarenko minus 115, Chelsea Chandler minus 105. If I had to pick, I'd probably pick Stoliarenko. And then moving on, Maxime Grishin versus Felipe Linz. Um, Grishin's minus 180, Felipe's my plus 165. I think Grishin's going to win this pretty easily. I don't think Felipe's that good. Maybe he'll prove me wrong, but I do not think so. My pick's Grishin. Then Christoph Jocko versus Brendan Allen. Um, I like Brendan Allen here. And he's an underdog, plus 100. Yeah, I think I'd take Brendan Allen here. And then moving on, Jesse Ronson versus Joaquin Silvia. Joaquim Silvia. Uh, Joaquim's minus 145. Jesse's plus 125. I kind of like Jesse here too, even though Joaquin's probably. Neither of these guys are that good. Joaquin's probably better. But I like Jesse Ronson. And then Tabitha Ricci versus Jessica Penne. I like. Uh, I like Tabitha Baby Shark Ricci here. She's minus 210. Sounds like a good parlay piece, a risky parlay piece. Women's fights are always risky, unless it's high level, but I'll take Tabitha Ricci with that. And then Alir Latifi versus Alexei Olinik. I like Alir Latifi here, and the reason I like Alir Latifi here is because you cannot choke someone out. If they do not have a neck, and Alexi's older than Alir, so I'm favoring Alir here. Bars. And then moving on to the main card Mike Davis versus Slava Claus Vacheslev Boryshev. Um, I like, I like Slava here, even though I would not be that surprised if Mike Davis won. Let me look at the odds real quick. Mike Davis is minus 175. Yeah, I would not be surprised if he won. But I would not be opposed just to taking the dog shot here in Slava. Even though Mike Davis now, I think, is probably going to win. And then the next fight, John Castaneda versus Daniel Santos. It's a pretty easy Castaneda here for me. And he's only minus 190. I think that's a great price tag for this guy right here. I don't think Santos has a shot really. And then moving on again, Sadiq Yusuf versus Don Shines. Shines. We'll call him Don. I know Don is in here on short notice. It was supposed to be Sadiq versus Giga Chikadze, which would have been a great fight. But I'm going to have to take Sadiq here, but he He's minus 900. I would not touch that. Not in a parlay. Not in a straight up bet. So if you like Sadiq, you can try and get him at... By knockout at um, 
minus 150. Or if you like him by decision, that's plus 180. P submissions plus 1200. I know that probably won't happen. But if you like him by knockout, you could lower his from the nine minus 900 to the minus 150 there. Um, moving on, Ronnie Barcellos versus Trevin Jones. I think this is a pretty easy Ronnie Barcellos here. I do not think Trevin Jones is that good. I think he is powerful, though. I do not think he is that good. And then Randy Brown versus Francisco Trinaldo. This is my favorite fight on the entire card. I love Randy Brown. I love watching him fight. He's so good, so entertaining. And I will pick him here over Trinaldo. He is minus 300. But I think that's fair. The only thing I'm worried about is Trinaldo's power. Even though he's 44, he's still powerful. Um, but I like Randy Brown here. He is, he is a very good fighter. And then the main event, Mackenzie Dern versus Yan Zhao Nan. Zhao Nan Yan. Mackenzie Dern's minus 225 right now. Yan is plus 190. This is a very close fight. Mackenzie's way better on the ground. Jan is way better on the feet. Starts on the feet. I don't know how good Mackenzie Dern's takedowns are. That being said, I'll take Mackenzie Dern by submission. And yeah, that is... This is my first video, guys. I'm sorry if it was rushed. It wasn't that good. It won't... You can't even see the people right now. I don't even have a recording software or anything I'm all I'm figuring this all out I'm trying I'm gonna keep growing learning and uh thanks thanks for watching leave a like subscribe it means the world to me thanks guys